guys, what's up? My name is Jeanette, also known as Mr. Deegan, and I'm here with my amazing co-host. What's your name again? Matt from, Matt from Raw Intuition. Yes, my amazing friend Matt from Raw Intuition. And we are playing Raw Vegan Jeopardy. That's how my roommate says it with a French accent. Jeopardy. And I have been studying Will Ferrell on SNL all night. <laughs> the old ones with like the Sean Connery. Um, <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. So um, yes, let's get started. We have the first category, which is uh, 40. He wants us to go with healthy, butt. wait, healthy gut, healthy, butt for 200, Alex. Ooh. All right. Healthy gut, healthy, butt for 200. We've got this nutrient accounts. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not 200. This is 200. This section of the colon runs horizontally across the abdomen. Oh, you mother. <laughs> this section of the colon, the large intestine? Yes. Oh my God, sorry. Oh wait, no, 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 I'm sorry. That, yes, part of the large intestine, the part of the large intestine. The cecum, that... the cecum. No. No. No, because that's the part that you want the, the colony to get to. It's the end. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's no. That's the entryway into the colon. Anybody in, in, the, uh, in the comments section? Does I anybody can't... know? Wait, where's your stupid book? Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on. It's in your book. It has to be in your book. It's in your Sherry's book? Sherry's got it. Sherry's got it. The transverse. I... Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't tell you this was going to be trivia. I, I caught you off guard. I understand. Oh, oh now everybody's, <laughs> oh, now everyone knows it. But yeah, right. As if you can't Google that. Okay. Right, that's 200 for Sherry. <laughs> Wait, but I thought we were the contestants. <laughs> I did too. Oh, you're right. We should have done it the, the way you're doing it. They, yeah. And, oh, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. yeah. That's why you have books. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to say Matt won, got one point. Matt number one got one point. Okay. Oh my God. Next category. Can somebody, this is unbelievable. <laughs> this is not what I was thinking. See, my no. questions are, what is the sluttiest thing you've ever done with fruit? Like these are the kind of questions <laughs> I came up with, Matt. I didn't know. Okay, Sherry, what you pick the, Sherry, please pick the category and the amount. Yep. Sherry's no, winning. I like your way of doing it too, though. That, that's, <laughs> that'll be fun. I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> okay. Now, literally, Matt, wait, can... Are we going to have to wait like for these people to like, I know we might have to just, we might yeah. just have to, yeah. let's just, okay, Matt. So you won one. So pick a category and a, and a amount. All right. Actual value for, for 200. Okay. Actual value for 200, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is not really valuable. Hold on. <laughs> or Sherry, Sherry put in hers, but uh, whichever one you want to do. Okay. Um, actual value, Matt. What is one thing people can start doing today to be healthier and feel more energetic? Ooh, that's a great one. Um, wow. Uh, let's go with <laughs> what is eliminate processed food. Mm, that's good. Mm, guys, you're going to tell me who wins. Sherry, actually, because Sherry's so goddamn fast. She's going to say who wins because I don't trust the rest of y'all. I don't know what y'all doing. Uh, but, um, um, I would say, oh, that's a good one. Okay. The question is, I wasn't listening to my own question. What's an easy thing people can start doing today to be healthier and feel more energetic, uh, jumping jacks mm. exercise to me. And I heard Casey Neistat say this, and I'm not saying he's like an authority on anything, but in one of his videos, he said that he would rather exercise for an hour than sleep for an hour because it gives him more energy. And I actually agree. And I know sleep is important, Matt. And I, we're going to talk a lot about sleep in our course we'll talk about that later but um sleep is really important yeah Matt, um 40 we know we know <laughs> we know you like to sleep um i've never done anything slutty let alone with fruit <laughs> Duh. okay um that is hilarious um are you trying to say that i'm a hoe because yeah fruity hoe um okay so i used to call myself a fruity goddess but it changed to hoe at some point this year. Hmm. Uh, I just realized that. So now uh, who think who won? Matt one or Matt two? Matt 1.0 or Matt 2.0? Because um, mine is easy. Jumping jacks. Yeah. Giving up processed food? That's hard, Matt. If only there was some type of course 
that was available to help people get off processed food. Can you think of any way that people can get help with that? If there was a course like that, I would sign up in a heartbeat. I mean, there'd be no question. I, I would sign up today and yeah. I, yeah. I think, I think, uh, I think Misfit Vegan has something going on like that coming up here pretty soon. Yes, I do. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But also you can look below in the description because it's in two weeks and it's not easy to give up processed food. I think Matt 2.01. Yep. Don't say, yep. That's what I would say because jumping jacks are way easier than doing whatever Matt said. Yeah. Right, Miss it. Yeah. Two Matt 2.01. Okay. So I'll pick the category now. Is it getting better guys? Is the show getting anywhere? Is this anything? <laughs> Okay, next. Uh, oh, so I was supposed to, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I was supposed to. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Do you have a time frame for today, Matt? No, I'm good. <laughs> healthy gut, healthy butt. Okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, man. All right, so I'm going to go with salad whole life for 200. Nice. Alex. Okay. <sighs> Matt. These questions are not really. I don't want to say any of these questions. Hmm. Okay, I'll just think of more of another one. Matt, yes. how did you, because I write these late at night and I just, they're not good. Uh, how did you deal with cooked food cravings when you first went raw and you started eating salads at night? How did you deal with the cravings for cooked food? Ooh. Well, so the thing that I remember the most about how I would deal with cravings is I would eat a juicy fruit. Anytime I started to feel like, ooh, I would like, you know, some like baked sweet potatoes or something. And I was trying to stay raw. I would eat like, I just remember having this mango and it was so juicy and just so sweet and satisfying. After I had that big mango, I had another mango and then I had no other, I, I didn't want to have the, the, the sweet potato anymore. I just went with my salad. So um, that was my big thing was having some hydrating juicy fruit uh, before my salad. And that, that took care of a lot of the issues that I had with cravings. Well, that sounds like a fruity hoe answer to a salad hoe question, but we'll take it. Um, Matt got one more point because I can't answer better than that. Okay, so Matt won. 2.0 is in the lead. Matt 2.0 is clo close behind. Okay, so Matt, pick your pick a category. All right, let's go with. I want fruity whole life for 200. <laughs> uh, just hearing Matt say that is worth doing this show. <laughs> okay, fruity whole life for 200. Matt, how many fruits? How many types of fruits are there currently in the world? Oh, wow. Nobody Google this and put the answer. I'll kill you. <laughs> How many different types of fruits? Um, I'm going to say 40,000, Alex. <laughs> Anybody what else is, has like, a, sorry? What is, what is 40,000? I think that I'm like 100 times less than what it actually is. But Yeah, you said 40,000? Yeah. Okay. So I was confused by this, uh, Alex. <laughs> You're Alex. I'm Alex. Um, did anybody else have like a big crush on Alex Trebek as a kid? Oh, yeah. Just me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused by this, Alex, because it says approximately 2,000, including fruit that you know of, fruit that uh, you thought was a vegetable, and poisonous inedible fruits. It says 2,000, but it feels like there is more. Is it just, is my Google machine broken? I don't understand. I swear I've heard them. I, I've heard it said that there's like two, at least 2000 varieties of mango. So I wonder if it's specific, like it's not counting the different varieties of each fruit and it's just lumping them all together into one. That's it, because this didn't make sense to me. Well, I know, I believe there's 80,000 edible. Oh, yeah, I think it's 80,000. I once saw that. But when I Googled it the other day, Alex, it said 2,000 types of fruit. But you know Google's lying. You know yeah. they're always lying to us. I don't mm. trust Google, no. Okay, Matt, one point I was going to get this one. Oh, <laughs> damn, he's in the lead. Uh, because I had the answer wrong, and nobody even knows the answer. But um, <laughs> honestly, there's so many, so many fruits that we'll never know of, and there's thousands of types of fruits. There's thousands of types of durian. 
Yeah, you're right. It can't be 2000, Alex. No. Okay, uh, you, um, that was yours. Okay, so you choose again. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go with uh, who said it for 200. Yes, who said it? Choosing your own category. Smart. <laughs> okay, so that's All on right. you, boo. Who said it? Life is a tragedy of nutrition. Uh, what is Professor Arnold Errett? Correct. Correct. Oh my God. Very nice. Not, not two point oh. <laughs> wow. Did, that's actually fun. The way you did it is actually fun. Uh, yeah, I couldn't do the who is, what is. I was getting very confused. Yeah. So I, I couldn't do the proper Jeopardy. Um, <laughs> but hey, I'm trying, guys. Okay. Yeah. Lalita said there's definitely more. Hey, Daddy, what's up? I know your name's not Daddy, but it looks like it. Da Digi Tech Man. Up, but I still, I, <laughs> I still call you daddy. Okay, so um, I'm in the lead. Oh no, I it. have no, I have one point. So I'm gonna choose. Uh, I would like to go with um, uh, 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 the butt gut, healthy gut, healthy butt for six hundred, please. Oh, nice. Forty. Trying to get this fruit was, money. Forty thought it was Shakespeare. <laughs> so, so no points. Definitely not. <laughs> All right, which one did you choose? Healthy gut, healthy butt. Yes, please, for 600. Ooh, for 600. All right. Okay. This vast mesh like system of neurons governs the function of the GI tract. Uh, please repeat the, the clue. This vast mesh like system of neurons governs the function of the GI tract. I know it's not the villa. What is not the villa? It's not the villa, right? <laughs> Correct. What is the microbiome? I'm just going to spit out words now. Mm, that's a good guess, but no, not, not correct. Sherry, Sherry, what do you think? <laughs> Hold on. Just, can I have a second? You have 10 seconds. I knew I should have read this book. I knew I should have <laughs> read this stupid book when you sent it to me. No, I actually bought it, guys. I, I regret the day. <laughs> <laughs> No, never. Oh, no, please, Matt. Please give me a second. Oh, gut, gut flora. What is the gut flora? No, I'm sorry. The, the correct answer is, what is the enteric nervous system? No. Yeah, I know. <laughs> sorry, guys. Guys, I got things like fruity whole life. I got <laughs> things like, why? That, Matt, you knew I didn't know that. You knew it. <laughs> Showing I, off. I want it to be educational. I didn't think I didn't think many people would know that. So I, I have I questions people... like, <laughs> sorry, yeah, I have. That's why I had an actual value column, Matt. I have yeah. questions like, have you ever eaten fruit in the shower? Mm. That's a question I have. You see, you're that... talking about crazy stuff that nobody knows the answer to. Yeah, I know. It was a six hundred uh, six hundred question though you're right you're right by the yeah. way final jeopardy is going to be by sherry so sherry i asked you last night and you never answered but please have the question ready for final jeopardy because yes. i'm really excited about this where we're going to risk all of our money matt and see who is the real matt who yes. is the yes the best matt of all time 40 wants to know why am i matt 2.0 and not jeanette because i want to i'm mad but better <laughs> what do you, i'm gonna literally print out photos of my face and put them on your book matt I'm excited yeah. for that. Forty. What's gonna do be, for Christmas? You'd be terrified about how many similarities me and Jeanette have, like beyond what what is just like in reality. It's it, it's not even believable. But yeah, we we have way too many synchronicities to even go over. Yeah, one day, one day. Well, the show's canceled, but <laughs> one day we would have, Matt. We would have done a whole show about it because it is. Yeah incredible yeah it's yeah. incredible that i could find someone so nerdy weird and like so much of a fucking weirdo um okay let's go next uh, i lost so matt you choose please okay uh let's go with uh vegan q a for 200 oh yes okay or no viewer q a sorry yes 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 everything's vegan on this show all righty so Ooh, we got some great questions. Matt, what is, okay, well, I'll ask some valuable ones first. Yeah. When you committed to going raw, what were your expectations then versus what they are now? Mm. Whoa, good question. Wow, wow yeah. Okay, um, I would say 
I, I put probably too much importance. I expected too much from the diet alone to make me feel as good as I wanted to feel. That said, the diet alone did make me feel incredible and, and it changed so much of, of, of my well-being. But I, I didn't put as much importance on the rest of the lifestyle factors that play a part in how well we feel overall. So that would be my first one is I had too much expectation that the diet alone would solve all my problems. Yes, that's another that's another reason why I call myself Matt 2.0 because Matt always answers the question the way I would answer it. That's exactly what I would have said because I thought the raw vegan diet was going to solve all my problems. I thought it was a panacea. Is that the right word? Yeah, no, that's good. Yep. Okay. That's what I would have said. So <laughs> even if it's the wrong word, but um, <laughs> basically, uh, yeah, same thing. I thought it was going to solve all my problems, and it didn't. It solved lots of problems, lots of them, but I didn't realize that health is a holistic wheel of many different, many, many different factors. I'm looking for the, um, oh my God, Matt has a fucking, sorry. I never saw this. Sorry, Matt. I never, you know, I never read this book, but, um, (laughs) he has a race car in the, in the colon. That is a watermelon race car. Are you kidding me, Matt? How can you, why can't you just stop trying to be me? (laughs) A watermelon race car. Yeah. Hey, when I come down to Florida, that's what I'm driving. So, but that's my dream. No, everybody knows Matt. When did you write this book? That's my dream. I wrote it, uh, I don't know, like two years ago or something, a year ago, maybe it wasn't that when long. you started stalking me. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Once I found out who you were, I started writing books and making videos about watermelon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, but that is my dream car. A G it's actually a G wagon. I don't know what this little race car is, but a G wagon wrapped in watermelon deep decals. If anybody wants to donate that to me, my PayPal, my Venmo is below. Okay. Um, I would say the same thing. So let's not waste time. So both of us got a point for that because I would have said the same thing. Perfect. Okay. Um, I'll choose the next category, which I would like it to be frugivores for 200, please, Alex. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. This species of great ape rivals chimpanzees for our closest genetic relatives. Uh, what is bonobos? Correct. Okay. Sorry. But you also said my favorite word, which is genetic because Jeanette's mm. in it. So yes. I think that I should get an extra point. Because my huh. name is in the word. Okay, four, four. Matt 1.0 has four. Matt 2.0 has four. Ooh, it's getting, it's, it's close now. Now it's a tie. Yeah. I'm sweating. Okay. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm sweating. No, but what? we always knew that. I'm always sweating. I'm always sweating. I'm so fucking hot. I mean, mm. I'm, yeah, no, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't going to curse. I'm so fruity <laughs> hot. Guys, let's, uh, let's continue this. I'm going to choose fruity whole life for 400. Okay. Yes, let's get to the good the good questions. Yes. Matt, if you could only eat one fruit for the rest of your natural born life, mm. what would it be? Wow. Um, all right, I'm gonna go with <laughs> watermelon. <laughs> watermelon would be the fruit I live on for the rest of my life. It's so hydrating. It is, it really is. Yeah, yes. I, I personally would choose, uh, let me think, what would I choose? I wanted to blow this up for the show, but I have so many accessories you wouldn't even know. Um, watermelon. Well, did somebody t- do a happy birthday for you in watermelon and send it to you? <laughs> no, no, they didn't. I honestly, I, I heard the reason why I said that I, I almost, if I was asked that like a few weeks ago, I probably would have said durian. But then I heard Lauren Lachman say he got asked that question as well and he said he would choose watermelon every day because he can eat durian for like several days in a row but then he gets sick of it but he can eat watermelon every day in a row for you know indefinitely and he he still enjoys it and then I started thinking about it and I was like yeah I guess that's true I I feel the exact same way so I had to I had to switch my way over to to Lauren's ideal Lauren sure okay uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, yeah, 
Do you have, but do you have a watermelon tattoo, mother, mother fucker? Yeah, it's my no, channel. We I, can curse. <laughs> I don't. I don't. All right, let's move on. Um, in reality, Matt, I'm being really honest now. I actually wouldn't choose watermelon, even though I am 100% obsessed and committed. And mm. I promise you guys, whoever's watching this, God help you. I'm so sorry for watch that you're watching this. My friend is texting me now as if she, as if she doesn't know what's uh. going on right now. But anyway, um, I will be living in a watermelon house one day, Matt. I will be. I won't be doing this show anymore after today, but I will be doing, I will be doing something from a watermelon house one day with my watermelon accessories and my watermelon kids. No, I'm not gonna have kids, but my watermelon <laughs> floaties in my watermelon pool and all this stuff. So I actually love watermelon to death. You don't even know how many accessories I have, but I would choose mangoes. I know mm -hmm. that's crazy. I love watermelon. I can't live without it, but mangoes has to be it. It has to be mangoes, Matt. And I know that's crazy, but let's move on. Okay, so Matt and I both don't get a point because that was just a waste of time. There was no value there. And why are we wasting your time? Okay, Matt, you choose. <laughs> All right, let's go with healthy gut, healthy butt for 400. That's gonna take okay. into that category. Yeah, exciting. Oh, I know, <laughs> we got through one. We're okay. actually- we're almost, we're almost uh, done with this mess. Thank you, Matt, for this. Everybody is, everybody is thankful. Okay, <laughs> so which one? All right, so we're going to go with this nutrient accounts for approximately 70% of the energy your colon cells use. Uh, Alex, please re re repeat the, the clue. <laughs> I wasn't okay. listening. All right. This nutrient accounts for approximately 70% of the energy that your colon cells use. This nutrient mm -hmm. accounts for approximately 70% of the, this nutrient. What is vitamin P? Close, but no. <laughs> Anybody? Any, 40 guessed glycogen? That is incorrect as well. Oh, I didn't understand the sign the assignment, Matt. <laughs> I take I don't want to do this show. I take it back. All right. Let's the choose a different show. <laughs> the correct answer is butyrate. Oh, you said it last week and I wasn't yep. listening last week. And then I, I oh I yeah. made a joke. I should have been listening. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually the the bacteria, our probiotics produce it from the fiber that we eat. They produce butyrate and then the colon cells will eat use that as energy. And it's like their their main source of energy. Oh, I should have been listening. <laughs> Matt one. Matt 1.0 got the point for that because he was listening. Yes. And I wasn't lit. I was. I just ner I'm just nervous. I knew that. I so knew that. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh my God. I feel like this is school all over again. Matt, what yeah. was it like? What was it like in school for you? Because it was a nightmare for me. It was painful. I I, I actually remember <laughs> one of the the times that just stick out in my mind is we were I was in I think I was in history or or economics or something. I don't even remember what the class was. Um social studies maybe, but I just remember I I wasn't even paying attention. I accidentally just like blurted out. I, I just said, I want to go home. And the teacher, it was, it was, per, it was like perfectly silent in the room. And the teacher uh, just like glared at me. And for some reason that sticks out in my mind, but that's like, that's a, a nutshell of how I always felt when I was at school. I, I hated it. Oh my God. That is hilarious. That's the funniest thing you've ever, you've ever done. Yeah. I want to go home. Oh my God. That's good. Were you, did you get in trouble a lot as a kid in school? No, I didn't. I, I was, you know, I followed the rules. Oh, <laughs> well, me neither. Uh, no, I did. And, and I remember this one time I was always talking. I was always making people laugh. I was always the class clown, as you can see. You know, it doesn't take a genius to see that um, I don't have I'm a mess and um, people laugh at me. Uh, but um, I remember the teacher was like, you know what? I've had it. Jeanette, come up to the desk. I had to sit at her desk for the rest of the year. I had to sit at her desk because she couldn't trust me to sit anywhere because wherever I sat, 
I would talk to people. I would try to make them laugh. I would, yeah, I was just disrupting the whole entire production. Anyway, okay, Matt, you um, got that point. So you got five. Hey, I, I did get voted most likely to be seen on a billboard. That was my, uh, that was what they voted me. So yeah, what? it, it was so because- we, we did, we had a, a high school news program. So every morning, every classroom had a TV and we had a, a, the most high tech video production um, equipment in, in the whole state. And we would have a, the, the video production class would do a news show. And so we had anchors and cameramen and all that stuff in that class. And it would broadcast the whole um, school. And so me and my friends, we did skits for we for the birthday section because we announced whoever had a birthday that day we would announce it and so like once or twice a week we would have a skit that me and my friends did and so and i and one of them was zoolander and so i think that's where the the whole billboard persona came from so yeah oh my god i thought it's because you were sending nudes to your teachers uh i don't know why <laughs> i just assumed that that that's yeah it. yeah yeah. Oh my God, dude. I remember. Okay. Let's not make this all about us, but one last thing about us. <laughs> I remember doing this skit in school. They told us to do some type of Shakespeare reenactment. And I made it into some like mess where I was playing the Alec McBeal soundtrack. And I walked in like a lawyer and I like fell and I rolled over and everybody laughed so hard. And it was like literally the highlight of my, of my entire life so far. <laughs> okay. Let's continue, Matt. Uh, you won. I don't know how, what you did to win. Oh, cause you're smart. You choose a category, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Let's do actual value for 600. Yes, Alex. Actual value. Okay. Matt, what is the best advice you've ever received? Okay. I just read Forty's comment and that's pretty funny. I got voted most likely to go to jail for terrorist threatening. What? Forty? <laughs> maybe you, uh, maybe you shouldn't be our biggest fan. What's going on here? I made a joke. I should have been listening. Explains my 20s. Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, the best advice that I have received, um, I think I would have to go with uh, eat fruit, be cute. Okay. <laughs> Matt wants the show to continue. <laughs> um, okay. That is great advice. It is. For sure. Uh, I see you're still working on it, but um, I uh, would say the best, some of the best, best advice I've gotten is um, don't read any of Matt's books. No, just kidding. I just <laughs> wanted to be an asshole. No, the best advice I've gotten was never take advice from anyone you don't want to trade places with. This is great advice because everybody has something to say, but are they doing what you want to do in a specific area? Like if somebody's broke, <laughs> I'm not going to take financial advice from you, boo. But if somebody has the body that I want, I'm going to be like, well, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Am I sweating? Is that what you see? Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, next. Uh, so I won because Matt, Matt's advice was nonsense. Um, even though that is great advice. Okay. There's so uh, many I could say. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll stick with that. <laughs> okay, I will choose salad whole life for 400. We are so close yet so far, Matt. Okay, salad whole life. <laughs> Um, so just to be clear, this is the category I said for Matt because Matt's a salad hoe. Matt yes. has had a salad for every night for dinner for like over a decade, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's incredible. That's fucking weird. And I have done the same thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's incredible, but here's the thing, guys, the salads are always like, it's so satisfying that you can never get tired of it. And I know people don't believe that because it's like, whoa, how could you eat the same thing for dinner every night? Well, it's different mixtures. It's different dressings. And honestly, Matt, I make the same dressing every night. I'm not like, I don't know. I just, I love it. I never get tired of it. And it's been for a very long time. But can you please answer this question? Um, I don't want to answer. I don't want to ask any of these. Um, okay. What about this? How long does it take you to make a five-star salad? How long does it really take you to make a five-star salad? Um, it takes uh, probably, uh, it depends, 15 to 20 minutes on average. It takes a little while. That's it? Oh my God, I just assumed it took hours. Oh no, 
it, it takes me, yeah, it takes like 15 to 20 minutes. And then, um, you know, it takes roughly a half hour to eat. So. Wow. I thought I had you pegged, uh, but no, no, it only takes you. Okay. Cause let me tell you guys what I do. I don't make five-star salads. If you watch me, sometimes I go live at the beach when I'm eating my salad. Sometimes my salad is just lettuce and dressing. I know that's crazy, but I'm very lazy in the kitchen. And the only way that I can be healthy and live my dream life and have all the energy I want and have the skin that I want and um, be a raw vegan is to spend as little time as possible preparing food. I don't like to be in the kitchen. I'm not a raw vegan chef. I don't use my dehydrator. I don't spend 18 hours preparing, uh, uh, you know, uh, fucking onion rings for the top of the salad or whatever. <laughs> Everything's okay over there. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, so that's why I eat mono meals. They're not even healthy for you. I just eat them because I'm lazy. Don't follow me unless you want to look like me, unless you want to have clear skin and lots of energy and lose weight and feel really good and heal lots of things, uh, heal your migraines and psoriasis and stuff. But I do mono meals because I'm lazy and I do lots of very quick salads. Me, Matt, 10 minutes or less every night, 10 minutes or less. I think that's why I always do the same dressing. Cause I'm just like, I don't have time to think I'm yeah. just going to do what I do. And no, no, no. And once yeah. you know the formula, once you know the formula for making amazing salad dressings, let's not sell your book. We're, we're trying to sell the course. <laughs> once you know your, the formula for making an amazing five-star salad and making dressings like that, no matter what you have, then you can succeed and do it. And that's what we're going to teach everybody in the course. So let's take a quick commercial break. Uh, what time is it? Two o'clock? Okay, let's take a quick commercial break, Matt, to let everybody know about an amazing opportunity that is available to them uh, starting October 30th. Yeah. Take it away. <laughs> All right. So yeah, October 30th, you guys, if you haven't already heard, which I'm sure you have, but if you are on the fence, we are doing a six-week group coaching program. Um, it's going to be really intensive. We're going to cover all the things that Jeanette and I have, have learned over the last 11 years each. So that's 22, more than 22 years of experience between both of us. And, you know, there's so much on top of just the, the core content, there's bonuses and extras, and you're going to have access to us basically 24 seven, you know, give or take, we do have to sleep sometimes, but you know, you're going to have access to us for questions and support and accountability um, pretty much for the entire six weeks, as much as needed. Um, we're going to do two Zoom sessions a week to, to give you guys the, the modules and go over the education piece. And then there's going to be just a lot of collaboration between, you know, the group members and accountability and all that sort of stuff. So you're going to get everything you need to really make this lifestyle a healthy and sustainable way of life, however you want to, to do it. You know, if you want to be high raw or, um, you know, fully raw or just eat whole food plant-based or whatever it is, we can help you do that in six weeks and it's going to be amazing. That was perfect. Yes. I couldn't study better myself. Um, well, if I tried, I could, but I, uh, well, I don't want to try. That was perfect, Matt. And um, yeah, we have a lot of bonuses, including all of our books, all of my other courses, Watermelon Workout course. I have a Energy for Life course. I have a How to Be a Healthy Raw Vegan course, uh, which is a great audio to listen to when you're walking or driving. You know, it's really important that you start to watch the content you're consuming because I'll never forget that Darren Hardy put me on to the fact that what you're thinking comes from what you're consuming. If you're consuming negative, uh, like people around you talking negatively, you're going to be negative by default. If you're consuming negative content or dumb content on the internet, all these cat videos, no offense, Sherry. No, that wasn't <laughs> about you. No, no, no. I didn't mean that. No, I really swear to God, I didn't mean that. But um, <laughs> yours are cute and so valuable. But <laughs> it's, it's just like, Matt, if I have friends, I try to like make them hate me to see how much they like me. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll be healing that in the course. <laughs> we'll be going over how to heal those childhood traumas in the course. No, but um, Barbara wants to know, remind me what your dressing is. Uh, join the car course, boo. And then we'll talk. <laughs> okay, just kidding. I'll, uh, I'll text it to you later. Um, Jeanette makes an amazing five-star salad when she feels like it. Yeah, I can do a lot of things when I feel like it. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, and honestly, I'm the same way, of course, you know, cause we're twins, but I, I pretty much use the same, like, you know, like between three dressings that I pretty much used, I just kind of rotate between them. But a lot of times I'll go a week or two using the exact same dressing, um, you know, just cause it's easy and, and you don't really need that much variety. Once you find the things that you love, um, and it just works out really nice. So yeah, that's, we're going to teach you guys that sort of, you know, mindset slash practical application and just how to make this easy. Like guys, it's, it's not that difficult to, to make this work if you have the right guidance and the right education. And so that is, you know, what Jeanette and I really wanted to, we really wanted to create a course that had all of these practical ways to make this work and and the the education that you need to feel confident doing it so so that's what that's what we're putting out there um definitely let us know send us a dm if you want the application and we can get that over to you and get you signed up if that's what you would like yeah let us know my email is jd at misfitvegan.com that's jd at msfitvegan.com we'll leave our emails below and send us an email today though because there's only a couple spots left so and we are definitely not doing it again. <laughs> I just started. It's a one-time thing. <laughs> I just am tired of Matt. And I'm just, I didn't know what I was signing up for. And yeah. um, so no, really though. Um, we're doing it only once. And um, yeah, so let us know. Like this show, like this Jeopardy show, Matt. We're doing this <laughs> once. Can you choose another category? Because let's just end this. Yeah. All right. <laughs> let's go with uh, who said it for 400. Yes. Oh, really quick. 40 wants to know if that's a papaya. Yes, this is a papaya. I feel like you're not a healthy vegan if you're asking me what fruit <laughs> this is. Boo, boo. But also he wants to know if I eat the seeds. Yes, I do eat a few of the seeds every time I have a papaya because it's great for parasites. And even though I've been raw vegan for 11 years, I, who knows from the water, from the air, from the meat and dairy I used to eat, who knows? I could still have a parasite or two in me. I'm talking to one now. So Matt, uh, <laughs> what is what is the next one? Yeah, who said it? Yeah. Who said it? Yeah, for four on. All right. Yes. Who said it? Uh, don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better. Okay, this is one. Oh, Matt, this is one of my favorite quotes. I'm going to go with, it could be any number of my favorite people on earth. Okay, I'm going to go with who is Jim Rohn? Correct. Sorry. <laughs> this is actually really fun, Matt. I should have done it like you did yeah, with the so. answers and stuff. I didn't, I didn't know. And I'll be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have done it like Jeopardy. I just, let's do Wheel of Fortune next week. I'm sure that will be a quite the shit show. Okay, so um, let's go. Where are we up to? Okay, so I'll choose a Fruity Whole Life. Let's top that off. 600 Fruity Whole Life. All yes. right. So Matt, this is the, this is the most important question. Oh no, there's too much. Wait, I have a bunch that I want to ask you. Okay. First of all, have you ever eaten fruit in the shower? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Wait a minute. What kind of fruity hoe are you? I thought, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I, I'm trying to think, but I, I can't think of a time that that, that happened. I'm, I can't think of a time it didn't. Let me tell you. Let me tell you why. So there's multiple reasons to eat fruit in the shower. Let me tell you. Number one, I remember in New York, I, I should have never tried to do this. Okay. So I, you can definitely be raw in New York in any cold climate, but me personally, I did it wrong. I did it the wrong way. I was having lots of smoothie bowls and ice cream in freezing cold temperatures. And that's not what you really want to do, right? Okay. You want to instead eat some healthy cooked food, but I refused. I'm so goddamn stubborn. I'm an Aries. I think that's the ram or the bull. Okay, that's me. I mm -hmm. will, I'm doing it, uh, whether it's smart or not or healthy or not. And so what I used to do, Matt, was I used to put the shower on and I had a big shower in New York and I used to go in the shower and eat my ice cream, like with the steam and stuff, all yeah. the toxins, all the chlorine, all, <laughs> the, all the things that you would have a heart attack over. But, um, and I didn't have a filter. I still don't have uh, a shower filter. I know. Oof. I... <laughs> <laughs> I know this is the last show. Just calm down. Um, yeah. And so uh, I used to do that all the time. I used to also, um, I recently, recently I came back from the beach and I'm, I am hungry 
And so I grabbed a few oranges and I go in the shower. Wait, does nobody else do this? Please in the comments, please somebody tell me you do this too. <laughs> mm. um, I see Dulce says that she loves, um, where did it go? She said she I'm obsessed loved- with Matt's almond and chipotle dressing. Yeah, there it is. Do you eat it in the shower though? That's what we're talking about, Dulce. Don't um, right. confuse the topic at hand. <laughs> Uh, does anybody, nobody, this is weird. I don't, I don't understand what you guys are up to. Okay. I want to ask another fruity hoe question, Matt. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you know, the, every question is a statement. Okay. What is the sluttiest thing you've ever done with fruit? I'm just asking so I could tell you guys. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's see. The sluttiest thing I've ever done with fruit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you go first. <laughs> I knew you would do that. I was like, there's no way he's going to answer. Cause Matt, let me tell you about Matt. Yeah. Okay. Matt's a slut. He's a slut <laughs> with like an emphasis on, t- but, um, but he's like private, you know, yeah. so, me, I'm a nun, but on, on TV, I'm like a big hoe, but I ha- do guys. I've had one boyfriend my entire life. But I'm on, on, I was on OnlyFans. I'm on Instagram fucking touching my the sour sop. No, like, so Matt, you see Matt, that's why I'm Matt 2.0. Yeah. That's Matt 1.0. He's a yep. slut in secret. <laughs> I'm a slut out there. I'm putting myself out there. Cause you know, I know everybody's doing this stuff. I know everybody, but you know, they're too, no, they don't have the balls. To, okay. What is the sluttiest thing I've ever done with fruit? No, Matt, this is a, how long do we have? <laughs> so one of my favorite things, so many things, so many things. Okay. I wrote it, but I can't read my own handwriting. Well, I know for sure that I made soursop juice. I did a job once guys, not like a sex job. I did like a video video job. Like I did a commercials for this guy and I went to his house to pick up the check and he had a bunch of soursop. I'm talking about like hundreds of soursops. And I was like, whoa, 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 what's going on here? The commercial was for like turmeric powder. And so um, what happened was I saw he had all these soursops. And I was like, whoa, bro, what is going on here? He goes, oh, my dad owns a import uh, business and we import soursop. One of the worst decisions of my life. Uh, I was like, fuck the money. I'll just get paid in soursop. So I went home with like 60 pieces of soursop and nobody should have this ever. Nobody should have 60. And one of them, Matt, was like this big. One of them was like a baby. Wow. Yeah, wow, indeed. So then um, I didn't know what to do. So I ate like soursop for days. I filmed, they whatever. And then finally I made juice. I don't recommend it. Don't make your own soursop juice. So I made the soursop juice and then I, uh, I poured it all over me <laughs> and licked it off. <laughs> That's one of the sluttiest things for sure. That was a good one. Uh, I, there's so many more, but I can't think right now. I'm embarrassed because you guys are, um, oh, fruit porn. I've made many fruit porns. Mm. Yeah. Let's just, Matt, are you willing to divulge or, or you want to <sighs> skip this question? Well, I mean, I'll just say <laughs> I have used mango, you know, in, in the in the bedroom. So I see Matt wants to stay a uh, upstanding, respectable <laughs> member of society. So let's not let's not embarrass him any further. <laughs> Wild, Matt. You I know, mango. I know. Don't, don't get too excited. <laughs> Okay, um, so let's, okay, we're done. Matt, you choose, even though I won that category, obviously. Yeah, you took that one. I can't think of a fruit I haven't used in the bedroom. Oh, wow. Let me think. That's because I don't, I'm by myself, so I have to use fruit. Okay, <laughs> somebody uh, choose, Matt, please. All right, let's go with actual value for 600. Yeah, let's, like <laughs> <laughs> let's try. Um, okay, for 600, Matt. Is apple cider vinegar healthy or not? Hmm. Yeah, see, I, uh, I, I would say no. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Listen, some people claim amazing benefits from it. I don't know. I mean, I used to use it quite a bit, but um, I don't, I wouldn't say it's healthy but I wouldn't say that including it 
a little bit is a problem. So I'm kind of I'm kind of not just fully decided on that one yet. What, what, what are your thoughts? I'm so glad you asked. I am fully, fully decided that it is not healthy because okay. it doesn't taste good. Yeah. Um, where do we find it in nature? Like, where does this come from? Does anybody know? Fermented apples, I believe. Oh, right. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> apple cider vinegar. Yeah, right. Fermented apples. So uh, apples that went bad. Rotten apples. Um, you know what? There's like an expression. What is the expression with rotten apples, Matt? One bad apple spoils the bunch? Yeah, rotten apples. I don't yeah. want to be that bad apple that spoils the bunch. So I, I, you are what you eat. You are what you eat. We all know that old adage, but yeah. is anybody living by it? Uh, you, Tessa uses it in her hair. Mm. All right. I hate the way it smells. Oh God, I cannot Me do too. It vinegar. Me too. I oh. used to, when I had hair, I would, I would use it because I was trying to prevent hair loss because they said that it, you know, you put it on your scalp and it prevents hair loss. I used that and I reeked when I would do that. So not saying Tessa does. I'm sure Tessa smells incredible, <laughs> but uh, you know, it didn't work for me because I could always smell like a little bit of apple cider vinegar on me. So yeah. Well, you reeked also because you put because of the urine you put on <laughs> yeah, your head. That's too. what it was, yeah. yeah. So the urine and the apple cider vinegar. <laughs> but guys, I like to eat fresh, ripe, juicy, delicious food that's alive. Apple cider vinegar, no, it's and it and it keeps for like years, Matt. If it can't go bad, it already went bad. Doug Graham said that. Who said it? Doug Graham. Nice. Um, and um, oh, I love that category, Matt. I wish I would have thought of that. Who said it? Damn. Okay, yeah. uh, let's move on. I'm a 100% no for apple cider vinegar of any kind on anything. Maybe for your hair, boo, but um, mm. maybe that's why you haven't done anything slutty in a while. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, um, who's choosing that? You or me? Uh, you. Okay, Q&A, viewer Q&A for 400, Alex. So many questions. Um, none of them are good. Um... Ooh, favorite 80s, 90s movie. That's a good question. No, of no value, but no, no. favorite 80s, 90s movie, Matt. Oh my gosh. Um, I really liked, oh my God, I can't think of the name. It's, um, and I don't even know if this is an 80s movie, um, but it was, what, what's the movie that robot guy um, terminator five alive or something uh do you remember this like he was like, <laughs> no not terminator um back God. to the future no uh short circuit it was the name did you see that movie short circuit i'm pretty sure that's the name never saw it anybody anybody out there short circuit oh my god classic Who's in it <laughs> I don't know. Let me look. <laughs> All right. Um, if I had to choose the first one that comes to my mind is Home Alone 2. Honestly, Home Alone 2 is like my favorite movie of all time. I could watch that movie over and over and over again. Don't judge me. Mm. Don't judge me. Um, it's just, it's New York. It's my home. It's just like, oh, E.T. Oh my God. E.T. Oh yeah. Oh. <sighs> what a great movie. Literally. The emotions of that movie, like I cry every time. It's hilarious. It's so weird. Great movie. And the, the Reese's Pieces. I used to love Reese's Pieces. Um, because of that movie, I think. I think because yeah. of the movie. The program. Of course. Yes, of course. <laughs> I like RoboCop. Yeah, all the, honestly, guys, I will only, it's very rare that I'll watch a movie from, not from the 80s or 90s. I did go to the movies yesterday. I saw Woman King. It was amazing. But before that, the last movie I saw was The Matrix. And then before that was like years ago. Um, so I've seen two movies this year, which is like a record. Uh, Matt, when is the last movie you saw in the movie theater? Oh, man. Um, I think it was um, Beauty and the, the new make of Beauty and the Beast, I think. I, I had to go. Sorry. With I, I, it wasn't sorry. my choice. It wasn't my choice. <laughs> I went to that too. Oh, such a good movie, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty well done. It was really good. Yeah. That was quite a long time ago. My sister was alive. Jesus, Matt. 
Yeah. Uh, that was a while ago. Yes. The Matrix. What? You didn't see the Matrix? Like all other woke people? What, no. What? No. I mean, I've seen it many times, but I I didn't go to. I no, the, the, new, the, new, the one. new one. The new yeah, one. No, no. I, no. I didn't go to that. No. Hmm, interesting. Okay. I thought all people like you see those movies, like wait outside, <laughs> you know, like with their I'm, costumes. Hey, I'm, I'm living in the Matrix. I don't need to go to some movie. I see it every day. Yeah, uh, 40's never seen E.T. Mm. That, that was one of my favorites, but it gave me nightmares. I had nightmares about E.T. all the time. And I liked the movie, but it's kind of scared the shit out of me. Yeah, I mean, remember that scene where he dissects the frog? I uh, was ter- I Why didn't I go vegan immediately? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But The Goonies, that's such a good one, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Focus, guys. <laughs> we went into a weird deep hole. Um, <laughs> let's try to get ourselves out of this. Um, we've got frugivores, salad whole life, and viewer Q&A. I'm going to go with frugivore for 400, please. All right. Frugivores for 400. Uh, frugivores, <laughs> forgiver, frugivorous animals account for what percent of all known mammal species? Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait. Is this a trick question? I don't think so. A hundred percent, Alex? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Because lions are mammals. Yes, correct. Okay. Okay. So 70%, Alex. Mm, no, not 70. Anybody? 69? <laughs> no. Uh... All right, the correct answer is 20%. Wait, 20% are vegan? Of mammals are are consi- are classified as frugivores. Only 20%? Yeah. I'm con- okay. Oh, According I don't really to know Google, I mean, I mean it could be misinformation, so. Yeah, like the 2000 types of fruit give me a break <laughs> we both had misinformation okay very good yes. we're both part of the matrix okay let's go next uh let's finish this uh this category off 600 okay. for frugivores please all right this mutualistic activity makes frugivorous animals essential for the survival of the plants they feed from uh what was that word say that again this mutualistic so it benefits both Activity uh, okay. makes frugivorous animals essential for the survival of the plants that they eat from. What is a raw vegan blowjob? I'm confused at the question. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand. Can you just? Can somebody understand the question? I. I I'm lost. I'm lost uh, here. I, I didn't know if this was. It is kind of confusing. Uh, it's mutual activity. Oh, 69. Close. <laughs> Close. <confused. laughs> No, it's uh, seed dispersal. I was, I was on the right track. Yes, forty got it. Forty got it. That's what was that? Six hundred. Six hundred. I was on the 40. right track. Yes. Okay. No, I knew that. I literally knew that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Last category. So Matt, I'm gonna give that one to Matt because I def- definitely didn't know that. How did you come up with these questions? Ah, uh, intuition. Right. Right. <laughs> You've been thinking about this show for a while. I created this in uh, October of last year. So <laughs> uh, let's go. Let's top off salad whole life for 600. <laughs> okay. Now, salad whole life. Yes. All right. Matt, what is your best tips on making fruit and vegetables last longer? What is your best tips on making fruit and vegetables last longer? Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to say, don't try. (laughs) You want to eat them faster. Um, You know, I think that would be my thing. So I used to get these like plastic bags that were, you know, they would make the things ripen slower and keep them from growing. The green bags, right? Yeah, the green bags. Yep. And I was always looking for different ways to do this. But what I have found is that. I just focus on eating food 
you know, in a, in a normal amount of time, I don't let food sit. There's almost never food spoiling in my fridge. So I, I make sure that if I have food in my fridge and I can tell that it needs to be eaten, I eat it. You know, I don't try to find a way to make it last longer because one, it always leads to food waste and that's wasted money. But also as food, if food starts to get overripe, then it starts to lose nutrition. So the longer that we go after it's been picked from eating it, it loses its, you know, its energy and its life force and nutrition. So I would say don't try to make food last longer than, you know, it normally would. Just try to make sure you're, you're purchasing the right amount so that you can eat it in the time that it lasts and it's still good. Oh, great answer. That's why you're the salad hoe. By the way, I had a lot of hoey questions, but from your mango answer, I was like, let me not even, <laughs> let me not even bring that up. I guess like your family's watching or something. Okay, whatever. Um, so last question. That, that's is, for the, that's behind the paywall. If, you know, once we, you know, create the group, that's when all the, the crazy Matt stories come out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so viewer Q and A is the last one. So let's do that. Um, okay. We've got a bunch of questions, but let me try to get through them lightning round here. Okay. Do you eat garlic or onions, Matt? I do. Yes. Do you eat a lot of mono meals? Um, I eat about one a day. What would you say you eat the most of like what kind of fruit every day? I eat bananas every day. Yes. Do you sprout your own nuts? Keep it PG, Matt. Whoa, whoa. You... That's behind the paywall. <laughs> but I'll give you a little sneak peek. I, I do. <laughs> I do try to soak them when I can. I've actually been not as good about doing that over the last few years, but I do want to get back into that. I want to make sure I'm soaking my my nuts and seeds so that, uh, you know, they're they're better digestible. Yeah. Could you stop asking me to soak your nuts? It's really weird. It's really ah. inappropriate. I just, I, have, I ignore it, but I don't know what else to do at this point. Yeah, I only have mm. so much time. I need to, I need help with some of this stuff. <laughs> I used to also soak my nuts. I know you guys didn't know, but I have <laughs> nuts uh, and seeds. Um, I used to soak them. And now I don't, I mm. guess I just got lazy, but I do mm. believe you should for sure in yeah. clean water. Oh, in clean water. Don't be soaking oh, yeah. them in tap water. What is the point of that now? Yeah. Do you eat any kind of oil? Do you eat any kind of oil, Matt? Not isolated oil, but I do get oils naturally in the fruits and vegetables, but no, I don't consume oil. Oh, my friend, Kyle, he is so funny. This guy, he said the other day, I don't know what we were talking about, Matt, you know how we do talking about nothing. Um, we were talking about some fruity ho shit, salad ho shit. And basically he was like, well, Jeanette, you know, olive oil is just, it's basically fruit juice because it's the juice from olives. <laughs> So he's like, he tried to tell me that olive oil was fruit juice because I think he was being funny. I hope. Um, yeah. So that was funny. Okay. Last question is how to fight cravings for cookies, ice cream, rice, and bread. Well, boo, this is the million dollar question. And Sherry, please type the final Jeopardy question in the live chat. Sherry, you've been warned. It's been like hours. <laughs> We've been on here for hours, Matt. It has to be. Um, and is, so you're still here. <laughs> is anybody still here? No, actually 30 people are watching. That's yeah. scary. That's really scary. Um, and by the way, I'm so sorry to everyone that thought it was on Matt's channel. I know. He, I bet there was hundreds of people over there. He was busy doing stuff with mangoes and we were late. And <laughs> the question of how to fight cravings for cookies, ice cream, rice, and bread is such a good question, Boo. And that is why Matt and I have created a course. Okay, because of course, it's hard to get off these things. That's why most of the world is struggling with their health in one way or the other. Okay. Um, whether it's with their weight or with, um, their mood or with their sleep or with their skin or with their immune system or with whatever it is, we're struggling because we don't know how to eat and we've never been taught how to eat. We don't have a user manual for this body. And that's what me and Matt have created a six week intensive user manual on how to take care of this precious temple that we have been given that nobody has taught us. And Matt and I had to learn it on our own. And I don't know about Matt and I really want to ask him, but I don't really want to talk to him anymore than this. But I, uh, I really want to ask him one day, what are some of the mistakes that he's made? Because I've made so many. And you know what? Don't even tell us, Matt. 
I'll ask you in the course. Yes. Okay. Because of course I don't want you to talk anymore. Uh, so, um, I've used that joke already. So basically <laughs> I made so many mistakes, boo, whoever asked this question. And I wanted to right my wrongs because I can't go back and help myself so I can help other people. And that's why we make mistakes. We make mistakes to learn because once you know better, you can do better. And it took me a long time to get off bread, to get off rice, to get off pasta. I'm Italian. That's all I ate my whole life was pasta and bread and cookies and cakes and all the things. And I was addicted. And so anyway, I finally cracked the cheat code and that's why we're doing this course. And if you're interested, guys, send me an email or a DM on Instagram, or just write it in the comments below, write the word transformation and we'll send you more information. Oh, that rhymes. Wow. wow. <laughs> Ooh, uh, I'm going to do something with that. Um, yeah. And so that is that, Matt, do you want to add anything else to the how to fight cravings, cookies, ice cream, rice, and bread? Um, yeah, no, I think we'll cover it in the course, but in a, in a, you know, more detail, but again, that's why this course is going to be great. It's going to be like having this show only it's on all the time. So if you, if you like this show, maybe, maybe that's going to push people away, but I um, know you, it's like people that actually, signed up are, are canceling. People are canceling <laughs> as we speak, Matt. If you do actually like the show, then you can spend way more time with us uh, if you join the group. Um, but I would say, you know, just generally, you want to make sure you're eating enough carbohydrates because if if you're under carbed, as they say, um, you do run into um, craving issues. So just make sure you're eating enough fruit, and that should be a big uh, help with getting getting over some of these cravings. And also, the longer you stay away from those and don't consume them then you know it's it's going to help you kind of recondition your microbiome so that's what i would say absolutely matt uh i think i've done a pretty good job not cursing today what do you think i i feel like you're a new person i was practicing all week because i thought we were going to be on your page and i didn't want to let you down <laughs> and i literally i have been i have been fake and um, like, no, I'm practicing and I'm not, I'm not going to curse anymore, especially on your channel, uh, which we'll do next week. Yes. Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have a final Jeopardy question, uh, but I'm Googling the answer. So give me a second. Um, I'm so sorry. So the question is, where's the, oh, thank you. Okay, perfect. The question is, Matt, are you ready? You have to write down your answer. By the way, we are, I swear to God, I didn't do this on purpose. We are tied, Matt. <laughs> Matt 1.0, I swear to God, you have $700 and Matt 2.0 has $700. Not oh joking. Goodness. Even yes. though some of the questions were 600, I don't really know what happened there. Uh, like the, we took off <laughs> points for you not divulging what you do with mangoes. Yes. So um, the question is, the final Jeopardy question and you have to write down your answer. Okay. This is, and remember when um, in SNL, when um, Sean Connery used to draw like sex positions or something, I don't know. It was just, oh guys, please after this, because I know this was like not good. So after this, I want you to have a good day. Go and just YouTube SNL Will Ferrell skits. And it's just, it's just amazing. I don't know what they're doing now, but back in the day, it was amazing. Yeah, I, I stopped watching. I, I don't really care for it anymore. Oh, it's trash. It's total trash. Yeah. Like everything else in society. Yeah. It's gone to shit. Yep. Um, Final Jeopardy, Matt. This is the author's name of quantum healing, quantum eating. Or, okay, or this is the author's name of 12 Steps to Raw Foods, How to End Your Dependency on Cooked Food. So this is the author's name of quantum eating. I accidentally mm -hmm. Googled quantum healing. That was Deepak Chopra. <laughs> um, so author quantum, I know the answer, but I'm just going to mm -hmm. Google it to make sure. I know it's a woman because I have it in my Amazon cart. Wait, that's not fair. Then Sherry knows that you know about this. Uh, I, I know of the book. I am not going to get the, the author though. I know I won't because I don't even know. Um, okay. Who is Tanya Zavasta? Yes, that is it. It's kind of like the, uh, what is that machine I use to make uh, lasagna <laughs> for my zucchini? What? what the Vasta. The Vasta is what it's called. And what's her name? Tanya oh, LaVasta? No. Yes. 
<laughs> no way. Tanya Zavasta. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Could this show get any better? <laughs> mm, okay. Well, Matt, I think it's a wrap. Oh, at least we know, at least we know what rock bottom feels like. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, at yeah. least we know that it can never get any worse than this. I know. So that makes me feel good. Um, it seems as if I have won. Guys, do you agree? I have won. Raw Vegan Jeopardy. Because I got the final. Jeanette won. Yeah, it seems like it. Let me know, guys. Okay. I'm drawing a bunch of watermelons to prove that I won. And um, yeah, this was interesting. This was... Yeah. Hey, it's good to try new things, right? So <laughs> it, it might have flopped, but you know, it's uh, it was a good try. I had so many good questions, but whatever. We'll do it on the pay. What did you say? What did you call it? The payroll? Behind pay the paywall? Paywall. I've never heard that expression before. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, it does indeed, bro. I just quit eating random ramen noodles like a couple months ago yeah good idea sherry is today's winner <laughs> no i don't know the author sherry i would have lost i lost basically of course matt we tied we tied yeah, yeah. of course oh my arch nemesis uh, and i uh, tied I, <laughs> we tied it. again <laughs> but and, and but you know sherry's the winner every day so we, we were all, she, yeah me and jeanette were competing for second place the whole time yeah, Sherry's the winner because she gets to know us. She gets <laughs> yes. to know us. So um, I guess this is it, Matt. I guess we leave on this high note of um, amazingness, uh, yeah. valuable content. Um, would you please leave us with something of, oh, I had so many good questions. I had a great question and I was going to share with you guys some recipes, but just join the course <laughs> and then you'll get all that. But Matt, could you please, please leave us with something to think about for the week? something that recently maybe inspired you or some type of um, inspiration that people can grab onto for the week until they see us again, because it is very hard for people not to see us. They go, have to go a whole week. And I know they don't want to let us go, but we have to go. We're very important and we have to go. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, man. I'm going <laughs> to, all right. The, the advice that I want you guys to think about while, while you're off living your lives between our shows and don't think about us too often, but if you do, I understand. I would say, remember that you get to choose your reality. You get to choose your identity is what I wanted to say. You get to choose your identity. Whatever happened in the past is in the past. You get to choose, you know, you can continue to follow those, those old stories that, uh, you know, you have built up for yourself and that other people have given you, but you don't have to. You have a choice to either continue living your old stories or decide you want to be different and you want to be who you envision you are and who you truly know you can be. So think about that tonight as you place your head on your pillow. And, you know, what story, what identity have you been living with that you know isn't true and that you want to change? So in the comments next Sunday, we want to hear what is your new identity that you are going to start living by this moment forward? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Because, you know, we're all living out the story that we tell ourselves in our head every single day. And um, it's, we're in complete control of it, but they have convinced us literally since birth, whether when you, when you want to say they, society, our parents, school, whatever it is, they've convinced us that we're not in charge and we're not powerful. And if you only knew how powerful you are, you would be like, whoa, what am I doing wasting time? What am I doing? Okay, so that was really good. I just want to leave you guys with a little quote that I really love. My new favorite quote. Success is a marathon of consistency walked out one day at a time. So mm. simple. I love simple truths. Like that Jim Rohn quote you said, yeah. like uh, Jim Rohn is one of my favorite. 
this is Billy Allsbrook, but Jim Rohn is one of my absolute favorite people on earth because all of his quotes are so, mm, there's so much truth and they're so simple. Like I love the one he says, work harder on yourself than you do on your job. That changed my life because I didn't know that I could do that. I didn't know I was supposed to do that. I didn't know that was the key to my success is working harder on myself than I did on my job. I gave everything to my jobs in my life. Um, anything else? No, that was amazing. <laughs> All right, guys, we did it. We got to the end. I'm really, I'm really sorry, but I'm also really grateful because I thank you so much for being here. Honestly, doing the show is a dream come true for me. I love to listen to myself talk. And so I thank you guys for being here. And again, if you'd like more information on our course, then of course we will give it to you, <laughs> but we can't help you if you don't, if you can't help yourself and if you don't think you're worth it. So that's what I want to do. I want to try to convince you, you are worth it and you can do it and we can help guide you, but you're going to do the work. So do me a favor, send me an email, boo, transformation at jd, jd at misfitvegan.com or you can... Email Matt, but then he's going to have your email. <laughs> Matt at myrawintuition.com, right? Matt, Matt at myrawintuition.com? Yes. Thank you guys so much. Let me know if the audio was worth it because I'm sweating in these fucking uh, headphones. And um, I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much, Matt, for this. <laughs> and I will yeah. see you soon. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. If I turn it off now, there's a delay. So I can't turn oh, yeah. it off. I have to wait. <laughs> I have I remember to wait that. a few seconds. <laughs> uh, thank you, but Tessa. We're... Thank you, Dulce. Thank you, Florty. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> He's my, that's my daddy. You oh, know what? Hey. Let's end it. Let's end it there. <laughs> Let's end it. Oh my God.